In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up a custom domain in Kartra. Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur and this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to show you how you can set up your domain either as the main domain or subdomain in Kartra and I'm going to walk through what both of those options mean, why you might want to do one versus the other, and then show you how to do it from a technical standpoint. So let's jump right into it. So here we are in our Kartra dashboard. All we need to do is click on our picture here and go to custom domains. Now you can already see that I've connected one, but I'll show you how you would do it yourself. So the first thing you would do is hit plus domain, and then you need to pick if you are doing a main domain or a subdomain. So what this means is how do you want to use Kartra? So there's really two ways to use it. You could use Kartra as sort of your landing page builder or your campaign specific builder. So let's just say your company is ABC Corp and you're running on WordPress. And so maybe you already have www.abccorp.com and you don't want to change that. However, you want to be able to use Kartra for your landing pages and for your specific campaign. So like when you click on a link within WordPress, then that's what's going to take you into your Kartra funnels. In that case, you would use a subdomain as opposed to if you want abccorp.com to be completely run in Kartra, then you would use this one. So to simplify that, it basically means means if you use another system or you have an existing website and you kind of want to keep that domain for your existing website, then I would go with a subdomain. But if you're starting from scratch and you want to build absolutely everything in Kartra, then you can use this one. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use the subdomain as I'm thinking more people might have that use case, but I'm going to show you both anyways. So let's just say it's Kartra.abccorp dot com let's just say that is your domain that's what you might want to do you might want to see say kartra dot whatever dot com or get offer dot or whatever you want to name it it doesn't really matter then it's going to show you this documentation and it's going to tell you to open up the integration guide now this is really important because it's going to be a little different based on who your domain registrar is. So maybe you use Namecheap or GoDaddy or whomever. So it's going to be a little different. But again, I just talked about the domain and the subdomain here. It's just giving you some examples. It's going to give you this link as well. And then the first thing you want to do is you want to point your CNAME record to Kartra. Now over here is where you specify whether you're using Kartra as a subdomain or a root domain. So if your desired custom domain is meant to be sales.yourdomain.com, then enter sales. If it's meant to be www.yourdomain.com, enter www. What that means is if you want your main website to be Kartra, enter www. But if you want to use the subdomain, then enter what you entered over here, where it was in our example, it was Kartra.whatever.com. So we would just add Kartra as the host rather than www. Now, this is only required if you integrate the main domains. So you're setting up a permanent 301 redirect here. Now, this is one where it's a really different for each platform provider. And in fact, I just want to caution you guys, GoDaddy does not work well with Kartra. There are some workarounds. In fact, I use GoDaddy. I've had, I registered my domain with GoDaddy. So there's some wonky stuff with the SSL certificate. For example, let's say HTTPS colon slash slash www.something.com will work. But if you took out the HTTPS and just put www, it wouldn't. So there's like out of like the 10 different ways you can write a URL, maybe like two won't work. That's the one thing about GoDaddy. I would say that it's a little bit wonky. So that's just a heads up for you guys. And it says right here, GoDaddy users, right? And it kind of goes over that right here. So there's two kind of ways you can make it work and you can get it to where only two don't work. So you can kind of go through that instead and it kind of has specific tips for GoDaddy itself, but I won't go through that as I'm not going to assume that you have GoDaddy. So once you've done that, then you go, uh, yes, I've completed the steps and then it's just going to put it in sort of a pending state. And then honestly, it took about an hour for me and then it just showed connected. So once you've connected that, then within any of your pages, you can actually choose to edit the page. So you can see here, you can have it instead of being Solopreneur 2020, which is the default one they assign you, you can actually choose your new domain or subdomain. Just keep in mind, there isn't an automatic redirect. So if you make it, you know, it used to be this, and then you change it to this, the page will no longer work. I haven't tried this yet. What you should be able to do is if you actually go into the page, 
I haven't needed to do it, so I haven't tested it, but you should be able to use the redirect function within Kartra if you don't want to do it more complicated on the server side. So Kartra does have this right here, page redirect. So you can activate the redirect and you should be able to set it like that and you should be able to select your new page. That's probably the way to do it. I just haven't had the reason to do it, but I'm sure if it <laughs> comes down to it, I might use it. So that's just if you've you know previously published a page on your old domain or whatever it is, and now you want to move it to a new one. Really quick tutorial on how to set up a custom domain with Kartra. If you found the video useful, give me a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.